That's the surefire way to grow your audience and to grow the amount of people that are going to be seeing your content every single day like clockwork. Are you confused with how to use hashtags on Instagram to grow your account and to get targeted followers? So in this video, we're going to break down the entire Instagram hashtag strategy and different hacks that you can utilize in your business to start getting more followers and more traction on Instagram. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Julian Astroska from julianastroska.com. Super, super excited to see you here. This is the best place for coaches, consultants, and entrepreneurs who are trying to monetize their expertise on social media. So in this video, I'm going to share with you four different tips and hacks that are gonna help you to have a solid Instagram hashtag strategy to grow and get targeted followers on your account. But before we dive in, be sure to check out this video right here where I gave an entire tutorial of my Instagram hashtag strategy and I dove into my screen and I showed you how I do my hashtag research to get more engagement and more visibility on my content in the feed. And if you feel like something is missing in your Instagram growth strategy, uh, you feel like you're doing everything, but something is just not clicking, something is not working, then be sure to check this video right here where I talk about the most common mistakes that people make on Instagram that you really should not be doing at all. Okay, but first and foremost, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell sign down below this video to get notified every single time I post new content about social media, coaching, and entrepreneurship. So let's dive right in. Okay, so first and foremost, you must be using relevant hashtags on your content and on your stories if you use them on your stories and here's why a lot of the times I go into people's profiles and my clients profiles to see what it is that they're not doing correctly and then I see that they are putting random hashtags on their posts if you have a niche where you talk about dog training like I recently saw an account where they do celebrity dog training um, so I was like that's kind of interesting that's a pretty cool niche so they only talk about dogs. So using hashtags like cat training or tips for cats or something like that for cat owners, this is not gonna work because you don't want to be attracting a cat owner or somebody who wants to get a cat when they're just looking for a dog. And just imagine going through the hashtags, through the hashtag feed on Instagram, imagine you're a cat owner or a cat owner to be, and you're searching through the dog owner tips or getting a dog tips or like any kind of hashtag about that and then all of a sudden you see like there's a cat right and there's some tips like there may be an infographic about you know how to get a cat and you're just like what the heck i came here to find a dog i didn't come here to find a cat so your content may not be getting the engagement and the visibility just because you can't really sell a steak to a vegetarian, right? So if you are a carnivore, for example, then you should not really be using vegan hashtags or vegetarian hashtags in your content at all because that's not your target market. So hack number two, and this is an important one, be sure to not use the hashtags over and over and over again in every single post. Do not use the same hashtag groups because that is not going to help your account at all. In fact, that might hurt your account because to Instagram, that's an immediate alert that you are a spammer. You're posting the same 25 or 30 hashtags in every single post. And not only it may not even fit your content, because like I said, you have to be using relevant hashtags. And honestly, you have to have a couple of like buckets you know, five to seven different groups of hashtags that you're gonna be using across different types of content. So if you talk about dogs, you're gonna only have a group for dogs. If you talk about, you know, motivation or money mindset, you're gonna have, you know, something about the hashtags about the money and the finances. If you talk about, you know, vegan recipes, then you're only gonna include things like, like vegan recipe, vegan lifestyle, things like that, right? So you don't wanna be using the same group of hashtags because that is gonna hurt your account. So hack number three, do not use broad hashtags. And what I mean by that is when you do your hashtag research, which I talk about here in this video, you are going to find a lot of hashtags that have, you know, 300,000 posts, 500,000 posts, millions of posts. 
if you have a small account, meaning if you have less than 10,000 followers, and honestly, even if you have less than 100,000 followers, it's gonna be very difficult for you to get noticed and ranked in a very big hashtag because there's just so much content that your content is gonna go all the way down from the top and if you're getting low engagement right now, meaning like you get less than 100 likes, even less than 1,000 likes per post, it's gonna be nearly impossible for you to rank in that hashtag and get any kind of traffic. And imagine you're using 20 hashtags on your post, they're all big hashtags, and then you're wondering, why am I not getting engagement? Because we generally think, oh, let me just use the biggest one, so I'm gonna get all the traffic, but in reality, all that traffic is not gonna come through because you have to be using more niche down hashtags, you have to be using the hashtags that have less than 100,000 posts in that, even less than 50,000, and even go further, find the hashtags that have less than 25,000 posts, but don't go too narrow, because if you go into the hashtags that have less than 1,000 posts, nobody just goes into them, okay? So keep that in mind. Do not use two broad hashtags. I would only recommend using one broad hashtag per hashtag group. And hack number four, which I have actually never shared before, I don't think so, like, and I don't think a lot of people talk about it either, so uh, the hack is follow a couple of hashtags where your ideal client is hanging out at. Okay, so if you're trying to attract vegetarians to your profile, maybe you are creating a vegetarian diet, right? Maybe you are a nutritionist, maybe you are, you know, like a health and wellness coach. So think about which hashtags your audience is using, right? So they may be a little bit confused, they may be struggling with whatever, so like you know your ideal audience better than I do. So follow, you know, three to five hashtags that are large, okay, where, you know, they, they actually can be pretty broad because you don't want to go into the hashtag with a thousand or ten thousand posts and, you know, find the same people every single day there because that's not going to grow your audience and that's not going to expand your reach, but go into the hashtags that have over a hundred thousand posts, even fifty thousand posts, but I would even go into the ones who have like half a million posts just because every single day I'm going to be able to find new people, fresh leads and fresh potential clients so I can bring them into my audience and engage within the hashtag feed. Because here's the deal, if you're just engaging in your own feed and you're not expanding yourself into any other feed, then you're limiting yourself to that one particular place and you really don't want to be doing that. So with that being said, definitely use the hashtag feed, follow a couple of hashtags or just save them in your notebook or in your notepad on your phone and go into them every single day because that's the surefire way to grow your audience and to grow the amount of people that are going to be seeing your content every single day like clockwork. All right, so, so far I shared with you the four hacks to get targeted followers using this Instagram hashtag strategy in 2020 and beyond. Super, super excited that you get, got your hands on this right now. If you have been using Instagram, but you are still struggling with content creation, then grab my social media calendar right here. I'm going to put the link down below in the description box. So check it out because in the content calendar, I give you the entire 12 month planner with exact content ideas with the holidays, with all the extra ideas for your content, with where you want to post videos, where you want to post short status updates. So it doesn't matter which niche you're in, but you're going to get so much value from that and you're actually going to get consistent with your content. And also, if you're trying to grow on Instagram and get those targeted followers on your account, then check out this video right here where I talk about my 30 minutes a day Instagram growth strategy that allows me to grow steadily on Instagram every single day. So check it out and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that gave you some ideas and some tips to get very, very targeted followers on your Instagram account and expand your audience and business to more and more people. So if you did, give it a like and be sure to share this video on your Insta stories as well. Be sure to tag me. I have my handle right here or right here. I'm not sure where it's gonna be. And be sure to hit the subscribe button to get more videos just like this every single week or more than once a week, actually. Also hit the bell sign down below to get notified when the new video goes live, which is every other day. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.